Hey, YouTube Texas Blades here. Turn this crap down. So I got home today and there was a package sitting on the door, to my surprise. Uh, about 20, it's been about 25 days now. <clears throat> 25 days ago I sent off my Gerber suspension tool, which had a limited lifetime warranty, which means 25 years here in the U.S. Um, the one thing about it is, is Gerber's lifetime warranty, full lifetime warranty like they have on the Gerber Bear Grylls products, if you send those in, you don't send a receipt. You just send a form that says where you bought it, um, when you bought it, how it broke, you know, what you were doing when it broke, all that good stuff. Uh, but you don't have to send in a copy of any receipt. And by the way, anytime I order anything off Amazon from the Gerber Amazon store, I never get a receipt. It's just a packing slip. There's no receipt saying how much I paid or whatever. It's just a packing slip saying what's in the box. So whatever. I didn't have a receipt for this uh, limited lifetime warranty, which is the Gerber suspension. Sent it in. The the mini multi-tool I sent in with the full lifetime warranty, I got back within 10 days from the day I sent it off. So it's been 25 days, so I had already given up. I was like, you know, screw it. They're either going to send me a letter saying they couldn't fix it without the receipt or whatever. So I, I wrote it off, but I got a box here today from Gerber. Haven't opened it yet. I don't know if it's the same multi-tool I sent them. I don't know what they did, I don't know if they fixed it, sent me a new one or what. So I figured I'd come over here and share with you guys how Gerber backs their, uh, you know, their limited lifetime warranty products. I'm going to turn it that way, my shipping label. Okay. So it looks like they just sent me a new one. It looks new anyway. And I didn't send it back to them in the box. And I didn't even have the sheath for it, so that's kind of cool. They sent it to me in a new sheath. It's brand new, it looks like. And I'll show you what broke on it. I actually did a video on it. It looks brand new. This little bracket right here. I was using the can opener nonetheless, so it's not like I was putting a lot of torque on it. You know, I'm trying to get through a tin can. Um, and uh, I was pushing down on it like this because it's a push forward system. And it broke this bar right here. I mean, just broke it in half and then it just completely fell out. So. What we're going to do is we're going to EDC these. Uh, I'm going to try them out for the next, I don't know, uh, at least a month or so. Something like that. Uh, and I put a lot of use in with the can opener on these. It's my everyday can opener. I use them every day. I don't have a can opener here, so we use our multi-tool to open our cans. Uh, and I've been using the... Stanley multi-tool for about three years now exclusively. I, I don't even use my Leatherman to open cans because I like this one. Uh, but I couldn't find it one day and I used the suspension and like I said it broke. Uh, so we're going to use this one exclusively for the next 30 days. Uh, this is the only multi-tool I'm going to use and I'm going to see if it was just a fluke or if there's a design flaw inside these Gerber suspensions. And if it's a, if it's a flaw it's going to be with these bars right here. I mean, they, it just completely cracked in half and fell out, so, I don't know. We're going to have to give them a try, see how they do. I really like the tool itself. It has everything I want, uh, you know, short of scissors, which my Leatherman Wave, or not the Wave, the, uh, the Wingman, the Leatherman Wingman has those, so. We're going to EDC these bad boys, and we're going to do an update and let you guys know just how well they stand up, if it was just a fluke, or if... You know, as I said, it, it's a design flaw. So be looking out for those videos coming out in the next 30 days or so. Uh, and I had just mentioned that they kind of screwed me on this on another video. So I apologize for saying that. Uh, they didn't screw me. They just took a lot longer than they did with the mini multi-tool. So be looking out for the updates. That's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching, YouTube.